It was stupid, and I knew it was stupid. Driving over the mountain in a friggin' blizzard? What if the road gave way in front of me? What if I got stuck? It would take hours for anyone to find me, and I'd probably freeze to death long before that. I can't see shit, I complained nervously. I was turtling around the winding road at a snail's pace, and I was starting to get really anxious, the swirling white scenery before me hauntingly mesmerizing. One wrong turn, and we'd be done for. Don't worry, my friend Marianne chirped from the back seat. Just follow the road. Well, duh, I replied mockingly. It was already too late when I saw her, the girl in the snow. She was just there for a brief moment, my mind instantly boggling at the improbability of her existence. I mean, she wasn't dressed for the weather at all. No jacket, nothing to protect her from the merciless cold. Just a silky red dress, like a thin summer gown. You wouldn't survive five minutes in that weather dressed like that. Shit, I exclaimed as I hit the brakes. Did you see her? Thankfully, I was hardly moving at all, so we slid to a stop just a couple of yards further up the road. Oh, don't mind her, Marianne said. That's just the girl in snow. I rolled up my window, sticking my head out into the freezing gale, but I couldn't see an inch ahead, let alone anything behind. What do you mean? I asked. Who is she? They say she died up here, frozen to death after her car slid off the road. Stupid as she was, she figured she'd be better off wandering aimlessly around in the blinding snow instead of staying put in her car. Apparently, they never found her body. You mean we just saw a ghost? I muttered quietly, rolling my window back up with some urgency. You scared of ghosts? Marianne giggled. Who isn't? I replied. I mean, I don't really believe in them, but at the same time, like, what if? Don't worry, this one won't harm you, she said, placing a cold hand on my shoulder. She just wants to be seen and heard every once in a while, usually during weather like this, when she feels isolated and alone. I nodded and swallowed deeply. Best to get a move on, though, I said. Can't stay up here forever. I threw a nervous glance in the rearview mirror as we took off. A bone-chilling cold crept into the core of my being as I imagined this low, horrible death of hypothermia. The weather cleared up soon after. A thick blanket of uniform white, much preferred over the tempestuous discord. I couldn't stop thinking about the girl in snow, though. Her pale beauty in sharp contrast to the crimson attire. Her beautiful smile. Those deep brown eyes. That cheery voice, and the taste of her name, Marianne.